What's up? My name is Kevin Lee, and welcome back to Atlassian Answered, the series where we tackle your top questions on all things Atlassian. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with Jira. Maybe your team is trying out for the first time, or maybe you just started a new job. Either way, we'll walk through the basics so that you feel confident and ready to dive right in. Now, if you're brand new to Jira and wondering what it even is, we got a full video linked down below that breaks it all down. Long story short, it's a project management tool that helps teams of all types work better and faster. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So before we dive into the product, there are three key terms that you need to know. Spaces, work items, and views. These are really the building blocks that make Jira such a powerful project management tool, and we're going to break them down one by one, starting with spaces. A space is the place for all your team's work. Think of it as a home base where your team is grouping up all their work in one spot, planning, tracking, and reviewing work together. Most teams have one space for each individual individual team, such as marketing team or design team. Other organizations use spaces to track larger projects, but either way, the core idea is the same. It's essentially your team's workspace. Alright, next we have work items. Work items are essentially your to-dos. For example, a software team might have a work item called fix button reload error, a legal team might have one called review contract, and a marketing team might have launch web ad campaign. You'll update these work items as progress is being made, and you could also add details such as notes from a meeting or questions from a teammate. No matter your role, if it's something that needs to get done, it lives in Jira as a work item. Work items can also vary in size. Some might take a couple of hours and others might take a couple of weeks. No matter what the use case is though, Jira is meant to be flexible to meet your team's needs. And finally, we have views. Views are how you see your team's work laid out visually, and the two you're going to use most are list and board. List view shows your work in a familiar spreadsheet. You can sort, filter, and make quick edits or bulk updates. And board view shows columns for statuses like to do, in progress, and done, allowing you to drag your work forward as you make progress. Alright, now that you know the basics, let's dive into the product itself. When you first open Jira, it should look something like this. And let's be real, it could be a lot to take in. That's why we're going to walk through the main navigation so that you know exactly where to start. At the very top is the navigation bar. Here, you can show or hide the sidebar, switch between Atlassian apps, search for work, create new work, use our AI solution Rovo, and manage your profile and settings. On the left is the sidebar, which essentially acts as your main menu. You'll see a personal home area, your recent work, and your starred favorites. You'll also get quick links to spaces, boards, and other common pages. Now, a quick thing to note is that your Jira site might look a little bit different from what we're showing here, and that is completely normal. Every single Jira site is meant to be customized towards your team's needs. These are simply just the main points that you need to know to get started. Alright, now that you know the key terms and navigation, let's put everything into practice. Chances are your team already has a space built for you to put your work in, but if your team doesn't, creating a space from scratch is super simple. Simply head to the spaces section and click on the plus icon. From there, you'll see templates for different use cases. Once you choose the template that works best, you'll be able to give your space a name. We'll call ours marketing team, and then we'll click create space. You can then invite teammates by entering their email and choosing permissions, and once you add them, they'll get an email to join your space. After creating your space, you'll land into either the board or list views, which you should be pretty familiar with by now. You'll also see a new space toolbar at the top which lets you switch between even more views. Summary gives you a high-level overview, calendar shows a work calendar, and timeline maps out work over time. There are more views that you could explore later, but these are the main ones you need to know to get started. And finally, let's create a work item. Go to either the list or board view and click on the plus. From there, you'll be able to immediately add a work item to your space. If you want to add more details, just give the item a click where you can then use AI to add a description for context or links and assign it to either yourself or a teammate. If you'd like, you could also set extras like priority, due date, attachment, or linked items. And just like that, you now have a brand new Jira space with work items and views to visualize it. From here, what you do next is really up to you. You can invite more teammates, create additional work items, or even explore our pre-built templates so you can get started with your work faster. 
Once again, Jira is highly customizable and you could shape it to work however you and your team works best. The more you use it, the more natural it'll feel and soon enough, you'll have a clear system to track all your work effectively. And there you have it. Hopefully you're feeling more ready to get started with Jira. Now, once again, if you want to go deeper, check out the free Jira course linked in the description. And if you haven't already, start your free Jira account by clicking on the link below. If this video is helpful, drop a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the Atlassian YouTube channel. That's all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.